Oh, is it heavy? Yep, yeah, there's something in there. Holy cow! That's a whale. <laughs> Well, welcome to Mental Health Day. Today, I'm out crabbing with my daughter, Grace. We brought with us 30 crab traps. There's many different ways to crab. You can use crab traps, crab pots, trout lines, not trout, but trot, trot lines. Um, you can hand line for them. Today, we're gonna show you how we crab using crab traps. We have 30, that's how many you can have as a recreational crabber. We have them all rigged up with chicken necks. Chicken necks seem to work the best for us. You can use razor clams or any other sort of variety of stink meat you want. But uh, the chicken necks work well because they're bony um, and there's not skin on them. If you get chicken with skin on them, usually crabs don't mess with the skin. They wanna go straight for the meat and they don't mess with the skin. Just the way it works. Um, I'm gonna stop talking now because we gotta get these traps in the water. We haven't laid them out yet. So let's throw them in the water. All right, to get the traps in the water, just take them up. Hopefully it's not too deep here. Put the trap in throughout the float. And I'm gonna just keep an eye on it and make sure it, it, the float doesn't disappear. All right, so we're good. Looks like we're in the right, right depth for these traps. These are all different lengths. Most of them are right around 10 to 12 foot, but I have some 14 to 16 foot lines. And all we're gonna do is lay out these 30 traps in somewhat of a line. Then we're gonna pick them up and hopefully we catch some crabs. So when we're done laying out the traps, we'll be back. All right, last trap going in. All 30 traps are in the water. Now another reason why we use chicken necks is because they're cheap. You can buy like a hundred of them for like two, three dollars. Our goal today is to fill this bushel basket with crabs. I'm not gonna tell you what river we're on. That's something you need to figure out for yourself. But if you go further south into Chesapeake Bay where the water's saltier, that's more prone to catch females. When you get into the fresher water up into the river systems, that's where the larger males usually hang out. Uh, this place we're on today, there's a lot of nostalgia for myself because this is where my father brought my brothers and me when we were kids. And this is the first time in probably 15 years I've crabbed this river. And now I'm doing this with Grace. Hopefully a tradition will do for a long time to come. Enough yapping, we gotta pull these traps and hopefully catch some crabs. Ha-ching! High five. Now you remember how to do this, right? No matter if you think there's a crab in there or not, get it up and over the boat. Yeah. They could be hanging on the bottom. Yeah. All right, you ready? First trap. Quick, get it up. Nobody home. All right, put it back. That's not a good sign. We're just gonna alternate pulling the traps. Nobody home. Skunk for both of us. Quick. Get it up. All right. See how it's getting caught on that lip? You got to lift it over that lip. If you get a big crab in there and you stop it there, it'll climb right out the top. Oh, it's shallow here. Throw that other trap in. Oh, there's a big crab. Ooh, throw, that, throw that other Ooh, trap in, Grace. A little confusion there. So we have one trap that's the line's too short. So right off this point here, there's a sandbar and uh, the trap I just pulled up had a really long line. So we're gonna change that with our short trap. And most importantly, we just caught the first keeper of the day. That is a big old male. That's that, what we wanna see. That is huge. This place is known for big, big boys. We need more crabbies. That one feels good. Yep. So it's done. Come on. Are you gonna catch a crab? You better be nice to daddy or you're not eating dinner tonight. Last trap, make it count. Oh, it feels good. Nope, nothing. I'm just curious how hard the big boy is and he is, he is rock hard. That is a beautiful blue crab. Now, looks like the Washington Monument on his private parts. Now this one we're gonna, we're gonna measure. This time of year crabs need to be five and a quarter inch from point to point. And that one is a legal crab hard he is he's hard too so out of 30 traps we only got two keepers obviously I was hoping for a little bit better than that but the day is still young uh, as for holding the crabs we're just gonna keep them in the bushel basket we have a long way to go before we fill it up you can also keep them in a cooler you can have ice in the cooler but the last thing you want to do is put your crabs underwater like in a bucket full of water or in a cooler full of water because they will die. They will run out of oxygen in the water and they will die. Crabs do have lungs 
and once you get them out of the water they expel the water out of their lungs you'll see them bubbling that's getting the water out of their lungs and they can actually breathe air at least for a few days so that's how we're going to keep them we just need to catch more of them and another tip you always want to bring a fishing rod with you at least one fishing rod because if you don't bring a fishing rod you'll see a school of stripers swimming through birds will be diving the water will be boiling and you'll be sitting there like this because you need to bring a fishing rod so always bring a fish rod just in case Grace said I can pull the first trap. Oh, that's got a crab in it. It's a big one too. Holy cow, look at that, Grace. And that's what you do. You grab the uh, side of the trap and you open the doors to get them out. That's a big boy. That's a big heavy one. So if I said I wanted to pull the first trap, then I would have gotten that trap. You would have, but you told me to pull it. Why don't you get one in this trap? You'll know when they're in there because they are heavy. Get it in. Oh, see, that's why you always, that's why you always pull it up. They can come in sideways and you won't feel them. High five. Two for two. Come on, three for three. I don't know. Nope. Oh, wow. oh crab. Didn't feel that one in there either. Oh, I got two. Three crabs out of four traps. That's what I'm talking about. Anybody home? Nope. Skunk? What's a skunk? Imagine having a skunk. That's heavy. Oh yeah, big boy. We are crabbing now, Grace. We are crabbing now. Ah! Oh, watch out, they're gonna get you. They're huge. I know they're huge, that's why we're crabbing here. I'm scared of them. Don't be scared of them. Oh, that's got one too. Yeah, we are on up. Why does that thing feel so heavy? That one's too small. <laughs> snowflake, get out of here, snowflake. They're running now, we gotta get them while they're here. Get them while it's hot. Get out of here, Snowflake! Yay. We're here for the big ones. Ow. Oh, it's heavy. Yep, that's a keeper. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Looking good. It's Looking right. real good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's why. Uh, we'll measure that one. I think it's a snowflake, though. So that was more like it. That's what I was hoping for. We get, you know, four to six crabs to run. We'll fill up this basket fairly fast. Now, what I realized was, or what happened, we caught most of those at the beginning of our line. We didn't catch any in the last maybe 10 or 12 traps. So, we picked up the last two traps. We're gonna put them in the beginning. If that trend continues, we're gonna keep moving traps. Sometimes you gotta do that to find the crabs. You don't know what kind of depth they're gonna be in any given day. It'll be different every day sometimes. We threw back a bunch of little snowflakes while we were running, but this little guy I wanted to measure see if he's big enough nope he is not five and a quarter so he goes back over the beginning half of the year they have to be five inches the second half of the year they got to be five and a quarter all these are keepers so we got five keepers we're gonna transfer these into this basket and this will be our holding basket and this will be our working basket we also like to give them a little shade too Keep the sun off. So we put something on top of them. Oh, that's got one for sure. Yep. Welcome aboard, matey. Well, we only got one crab that run. So I'm going to blame it on the tide. The tide is now full high, so it's slack. Typically, I prefer crabbing on a moving tide, either incoming or outgoing. So I think it's going to be a little slow here for the next hour or so until the tide turns hopefully they pick back up but we only got one crab that time so i think we're up to eight total in the the basket that's not enough we're gonna be out here all day grace it is a nice crab though and we're not skunked so that's good beautiful crabs just need more of them there we go there's a keeper not huge but we'll take them oh that feels pretty good come on yeah probably a short probably a snowflake all right i only got two of that run and that one's definitely short be a keeper be a keeper be a keeper that one's a keeper so put you in there looking weak and i'm gonna crab through this slack tide off camera we'll check back in once the tide turns and hopefully the crabbing picks up all right little update here I just got six crabs that run after being skunked a couple runs, so the tide might be turning. I also got this absolute behemoth that 
is a huge blue crab. Absolutely huge. Love to see more like that. It's probably an eight inch or tip to tip. I mean, look at the size of the, compared to the size of the other crabs in there. It's a monster. Give me them back. What are you doing? There you go. Another run like that, and I'll put the GoPro back on my head, but it's it's one of the nastiest days this year so far. The heat index is supposed to get up to about 110. I think it's going to be 98 degrees with a heat index of 110, so it's pretty stinking. Luckily, there's a little breeze, but we need more crabs. All right, the next run. Got five more crabs, two nice ones. There might be one short in there, that one over there, but it's definitely picking back up. I do believe the tide has turned. Unfortunately, I lost my first mate. Gracie isn't feeling too well. The joys of being a daddy. She's got some medicine and told her to rest. Oh, that's got one. Come on, I'm here. Yeah, there we go. So I thought I was gonna get skunked. I was worried. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. A bunch of jellyfish and a big old crab. Get in there. Woohoo! Oh. oh, there's a crabby in there. It might be big enough. Look at that one to Seamus. Oh, hello. There's a lot of slack line. Shallow right here. You're the only one suspect. And you're big enough. So we got four keepers that run, great. Four more keepers. Transfer these over. Take a look at the pot. All right, see how we're doing here. Not terrible. Don't have half a bushel yet, but we do have a couple dozen. Looking good. Oh, crazy. That's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. We woke up crazy and she caught a crab. High five, isn't nice? Do it again. Oh, you listened. Good job. Two. Do it again and you're grounded. <laughs> oh, feels like you're grounded. Oh, my neck. <laughs> it feels good, Grace. Oh, there we go. That's a big boy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Bam. Oh my gosh. Heavy? Why? Hey, little snowflake. Hey, yeah, snowflake. That wasn't heavy. Oh, look. There's a female. Well, oh, it's an immature female. Go, mate. Well, the run right before this one, we got totally skunked. So we caught three that time, which is way better than being totally skunked. We caught a few smaller crabs we threw back, but we got three keeper males that run. I will say when the crabbing is hot and heavy, the fastest way to get your bushel of crabs is with a trot line. Uh, traps are also fun. You can have just as much success. It's a little more work and it might take a little bit longer. But uh, trout line is definitely the way to go when the crabs are running hard. It's just easier to run the traps with the kids. And it's what I did growing up. It's fun. I love it. Come on, man. Oh, here we go. I was working on a skunk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come here, you. Get in there. Oh, here we go. That's a nice one. Right off the point again. Well, we only got two that run, but they are nice crabs. Looking well. And I do want to mention, if you do run traps like this, once you put the traps in, you got to continuously run them. If you let them sit, crabs will come in and eat what they want and then they'll end up leaving. You got to keep running, keep running, keep running. It's not like crab pots where the crabs get in and they sort of get trapped in there. <sighs> a couple more runs, we'll probably call it a day. It's getting quite warm. The sun is all the way up. Is that heavy? Oh, it is heavy. Oh yeah, that's why. Nice oh! one. Get out of there. He's a strong one. I'm not the He's... king. I am not the bug. I am king. That's a strong one. We need more like that. Oh. Oh, that's gotta have something in there. Yeah. Oh no, it's a huge female. Oh. We can't keep that, but I want to share the camera. You're on your own. Get it up here. Oh, you got a crab in there, guys. Oh, it's a big one. I was gonna have a sip of my Gatorade. Nice one. Oh, no, there's no neck. Oh, it ate it all. Just... Yep, the big ones eat the necks real quick. And that was all me. That was all you. High five. All me. Ha ha, 
Oh, you got a crab in there. That was um, that was me, almost all me. Almost. There's Grace's big boy. That is a perfect crab right there. Big, heavy, and hard. Get in there. So this is the male crab. So he's got like the Washington Monument, and here's the female. She's got red tips. She's got like the Monticello or like a half moon. Unfortunately, in Maryland, you can't keep the females. So she's got to go. That's a big, beautiful female. But we're keeping you, buddy. You're a big, beautiful male. Get in there with the rest of your buddies. So we got three keepers that run. We're going to pick up the traps now and head home. Last run. Oh, that's got one for sure. Yeah, there we go. Get in there. We've already picked up maybe five or six traps. And now we got to take the chicken necks out. Pack them away. So they're all ready to go for next time. And I keep my floats out so the stack isn't as tall. Oh, is it heavy? Yep, yeah, there's something in there. Holy cow! That's a whale. <laughs> of course, we're gonna pick it up the traps and now we're catching crabs. That's the way it works, right? Last trap! This trap hasn't caught a crab all day. And something tells me, yep, it still hasn't. <laughs> Three more crabs to add to our total. One big boy in there. He don't want to come out of there. Come out of there! Come home for the hot sauna later. Not too bad, Grace. I say we're just shy of half a bushel. We gotta flip that one over. If they're upside down for too long, they will die. That one's kind of light. There we go. Not a bad take. There's a monster Grace just caught. My monster's down under there. Not too bad. It's definitely awesome coming to the river that my father brought me and my brothers when we were kids and bringing Grace. Not only did we come to the river, we came to the same exact spot that we crabbed as kids. Uh, unfortunately, the crabs weren't totally in our favor. We got plenty to have a feast tonight. Didn't fill up the bushel like we were hoping, but we had a blast. Thank you guys for watching. That's how we crab using traps in Maryland on the Chesapeake Day. Chesapeake Day, Chesapeake Bay. Thank you for watching and God bless.